this? So she be better. <laughs> really? Is that your all? Oh, is that your hosting outfit? It is. Yes. Host. I can't take it's it. It's cute though. Isn't it cute? We're having dinner in Vancouver in this beautiful house that was movie rental. It's beautiful. Hey guys. Hey mommy. Hey. And still, I couldn't convince Tamar to join us, and I'm really disappointed. I'm more disappointed because I think this would have been a great time to clear the air, and I really don't know when we're going to have another time to get everyone together. I had to move the blueberry first. Have you been eating the blueberries? Didn't you guys go to pick the blueberries? Well, I had to eat the blueberries. <laughs> Did you make some blueberry dumplings? Mm-mm, mm-mm. But my teeth are turning blue. Tamar don't like dumplings. Speaking of Tamar, where's Tamar? Man, I tried to call her. Mommy absolutely does not like to see us argue. She does not like seeing her girls at odds. So, of course, Mommy's not happy with the situation at all. What happened? Well, she invited us to have a drink. And honestly, I thought we were having a sister drink. But when we got there, Vincent was sitting at the table. So I was like, like, really? This isn't sister time. There's nothing wrong with having your husband there, but Tawanda's husband was there, be a problem. If Tracy's husband, Trina, she would have a problem. Why is your husband, why is your husband always here? So she, what, did you, you guys commented about it? About her husband being there? All right, yeah, I know so Tawanda did. did. Yeah. She got an attitude, I mean, you know, Tawanda, you just do whatever you think is best then. She was upset because they, all three of them left together. So I was hoping she would come here, I called her a couple of times, but she didn't want to come. There's nothing wrong with loving your husband. There's nothing wrong with being loyal to your husband. I think it's a wonderful thing. But what is wrong with sister time? Nothing wrong with that. It's OK to disagree, you know, because no one agrees on the same thing all the time. But when you are at odds with each other and you can't even have dinner, Together, something is wrong with that picture, and I'm not having it. I don't know what's going on, and I need to find out what, what's going on. I really do, because that's madness. The thing is, if it's reciprocated by anybody else's business, it's an ordeal. If Andre was here hanging out with us like that, she'd have a fit. Yep. She called him a, she called Andre a B-I-T-C-H, which was extremely rude. I mean, but she'd be mad if I said something about hers. Why are there double standards? Why is it that you can bring your husband, but if anyone else brings their husband, it's an issue? That's not right. I used to tease and call him Velcro, but now it seems a bit strange to me. They have really small eyes. Really, Trina? <laughs> I have small eyes. And little baby ones. <laughs> You don't think a sleep deprivation really You know, and your ears are about as small as these little... Potato chip ears. They're little, so little baby ears. That's what I call them, potato chips. Like my dad. This will not be... <laughs> <laughs> you just happen to be sitting beside me, so it's like I get, I get to, you know, observe okay. some things. Well, wait, 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 hold up my phone. I'm sorry, Mom, I know you see no phones at the table. Go ahead. Oh, it's Craig. Sorry, guys. Hey, hey Craigie. Tony, I just got a text from Alex. Okay. The police have arrested him. <gasps> Alex is my assistant who came up here to help me while I was working on the movie, and he drove the girls around today before the blueberry picking, and now my manager, Craig, is calling to say he got arrested. He, he was talking on the telephone, evidently, and he was driving, and evidently they, uh, they, they saw some glasses in the back of the seat the car. You know, that somebody was drinking earlier and there was alcohol in him and he's in big trouble. So I just want to let you know. I, I think Alex is on his way to find out just what the inside of a Canadian jail looks oh, like. Oh, God. OMG. Do we know it was open in the back no. of the car? Evidently, there were some glasses earlier in the day or something. I don't think he had been drinking, so they should release him and just find him. But we're trying to find out right now. And I'll keep you posted. Okay, Craigie, thank you. Keep me posted. All right, team. Okay, bye. I think I have something to say. What? They had a glass of wine in the car. Why would you do that? We're in another country. It's illegal in the States. Have an open bottle or container of any alcoholic beverage. Why would you do that? I'm sorry. <laughs> 
it's a car from the production company of the movie, so now the movie people gonna know. By the time it's over, it won't be Tony Braxton's assistant. It'll be like, Tony Braxton got arrested. No, I'm not surprised that my family turned a simple family vacation into confusion, drama, and crime. We are the Braxtons. We are the Braxtons, and you'll see that. Full of confusion, drama, and crime. That's us. Anyway, it's the weekend. It is. It's Friday. It is. After five. Oh. We're not going to talk to him till Monday. Tony, he'll be fine. Why are you upset? I just am. Because she feels that she could have just taken her cup out of the car. Yes. But she can't be upset right now. I I just... I'm upset right now. She can be upset when I leave the table. Oh. I get to be upset right now. I don't want to share my upsetment. I don't want to share it right now. She said upsetment. <laughs> you were really upset. You said upsetment. Who does that? Who? My manager, Craig, actually sends me a text while we're still at the table saying that the police dropped all the charges against Alex with a warning and released him. Thank God. But I'm not going to tell Trina. I'm not telling her yet. She deserves to feel horrible and guilty for the rest of the trip. He might go to jail. Jail. I don't oh, know. wow. Or they might I got to bail him out. <sighs> or they might deport him. What the deport him? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Welcome to Canada. Don't do that. Don't really toast. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> <laughs>